Hey guys, it's makeup tutorial time again. Okay. Hey, hot miss fan. Oh my god. Yes! Woo! See that? Bipolar disorder. My shit's not in order. I'm overweight. Very, very simple. I used this. Okay. Camera cut out again. Hey guys, uh, it's October 9th. I'm just sitting here. It is uh, 9.42 in the morning and I'm so excited. I just wanted to uh, show you that I'm, I get to listen and watch uh, Duncan Sheik. He's doing a live. His uh, album just came out today. Um, and it's so exciting. I can't wait to go get it. Um, but anyway, he's doing a live. He's doing a live. Uh, spiel thing on Facebook uh, so it's kind of exciting love the man love him I'm gonna go though and I will talk to you in a little bit to update you on what's been going on it's hilarious he doesn't really seem to mind it that much but he's definitely not like a clothing loving dog but he likes it sometimes he'll wear the occasional t-shirt oh Looks like the internet's out too. Shit. Internet just went out. The power just went out. Crap. I'll be back. Well, hello, guys. You probably can't see me. That's because it's dark in my house. Um, the power just went out. We have a really bad windstorm going on. Uh, I'm hoping it'll come back on. We're kind of on the same grid as the hospital at the street. I think we're on the same grid because we usually don't ever lose power. Um, so I'm hoping it'll come back on here soon. Ugh, so irritated. I was actually doing a video um, while I was uh, while the internet or the lights went out. So. I will probably put a little segment there that shows when the lights went out. But anyway, I will um, talk to you in a little bit. I know I haven't vlogged in a while. That's only because there hasn't been much going on. I will update you in a couple of things, big major things that have happened um, when the lights come back on. But since I have nothing to do and I have tons of editing and I made it a point to charge the heck out of my um computer i'm actually just going to go ahead and start editing and uh, at least take advantage of some things i'm going to put my socks on and here's another scary thought first world problems like i said you probably can't hear me first world problems 16 percent on my phone no! why won't it there it is dang all right so I'm going to see if I can plug it into my computer and use some of that juice for my phone because I need the phone. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.
date November 17th, 2015, 316. The power went out. Good thing my computer is charged. Kind of looks like I'm trying to get my sexy on with all my candles. It's all dark. But no, it, the lights are just off. There's no sexy time for me. Hey! Set me cuddling with poops here. Because it, today's his first official... Um, oh, well, he's getting his sexy on with his girlfriend. Don't be such a pervert on the YouTubes. Good thing they can't see you. Anyway, that's just his first uh, um, power outage. I don't think he get. He's not really um, getting it yet. But anyway, a, a big light bulb. Yeah, I had to have one of these. It's a um, just a Coke. But if there isn't any more um, lights on, I might have to start going for the booze. To keep me warm. What? Anyway, um, yeah, I don't even know. I was sitting here, like scrounging around. And I'm like. I wish I had some light and <laughs> I realized, ow, oh, I've got like a shit ton of freaking candles that I could be using right now. Um, you probably can't see me, but anyway, yeah. And I was, uh, I don't know if I told you, but I was kind of in the middle of doing a, uh, makeup tutorial. I'm actually, and I was so excited about using it and I got kind of like halfway and I'm not sure if you could see it, but it is the, um, Jessie's Girl palette. You won't be able to see the colors very well. And it is the um, Sounds of the City. So hopefully the lights will come up. They've threatened a couple times to come up, um, to come back on, but they just didn't stay. So something's going on where it's kind of on, but it's not. So it's kind of triggering it. And I am plugging in my computer is really low on juice now because I was editing something. Not that my internet's on, and I've got, oh, you're not going to be able to see it, but it does say 15% uh, or something. I don't have very much, and I've actually been charging my phone on there. My phone's been giving me shit lately, and it finally has 33%. Um, the only reason I need my phone on, really, is because my son will be calling me um, to come and pick him up. So yeah, I've got tons of stuff I could be doing. I actually did break out my book. I am uh, almost done with the book Lolita. Uh, it's kind of like twisted and stuff, but it's a classic and I really wanted to um, check it out. So uh, I've been reading on this, but I guess now is the perfect time to finish it up so I can uh, go dive into that pile of books that I have in the living room. You guys remember all those books I bought when I went to um, scavenger hunting at the Goodwills and stuff at stores. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Welcome back to vlogging. Woo! <laughs> With uh, uh, no lights. There's Finny. He's dancing. Woo! Right, Finny? He thinks it's playtime and I'm all stressed out because I'm like, don't touch a computer. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to get something done. So I feel like, you know, because I was getting so much done um, with when I, ow, don't bite me. Um, I was getting so much done. Usually I don't because when I'm picking up my son or something. Yeah. And he's being a little shit. Look at him. Yeah, now, oh, now you're on the YouTubes? Now you're going to be a good boy? Oh, it's not up in the air. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go and um, I will talk to you later. Hopefully the lights will be on. If not, I'll keep you posted. Bye. Start date, November 17th, 2015, 8.25 p.m. The power just finally came in. Or should I say on? First world problem over. 
power is on yay that was only like five and a half hours later it was kind of scary because i went outside to go pick up my son and it's it's surprising how much noise there is um when the power is on meaning the lights make noise the uh just anything and everything it's the electrical electronic buzz of it all and then i went outside and it was not only pitch dark, I had to use my phone. I've got a flashlight on my phone. I had to use that. I took my dog with me because um, I couldn't leave him by, my, by himself um, in the dark. That would have just been horrible. And um, yeah, we had all the candles on. I even took out all my spring and summer candles. And now it smells like coconuts and uh, pumpkin spice. But good thing mama knows, mama has uh, candles, right? But anyway, um, I ended up having a bagel for dinner because we couldn't cook. And um, I was trying to read up on the rest of my book, which I showed you earlier. And uh, yeah, <sighs> I'm so happy when the power's back on. I don't know what I'll do if apocalypse happened. Jeez. So anyway, um, that was my whole day. I will probably continue with my... Uh, makeup tutorial just because I'm already halfway done and um, yeah that's it I gotta go pick up my other son in a few hours and then maybe I can finally kind of settle down and watch some TV or something I finally plugged in my um my computer so it'll um, charge because it was dead all right, um, I will talk to you later when I finally get things settled. Anyway, bye. What? How come I don't have that much recording? It's mother. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Well, it's the last of it. It's pretty late. I finally dropped all my kids. Well, one of my kids back home. The other ones have been fed. And, uh, Everything's been good to go. It was nice to have the, uh, all of them together. It's just me and my boys. Just my little family. Um, I finally got pictures, so I'll insert a picture or two of what we all look like. I swear we can't get uh, a good family photo without somebody looking funny. So anyway, now that everybody's dropped off and I'm finally home, I get to pop open some wine because, you know, we don't drink and drive, so... That's what I had to do is wait. Um, I've got dishes in the dishwasher, but I still have this whole mess. Uh, so I'm gonna still put a couple pieces back or away. And then um, I probably will wait for the rest of the dishes tomorrow just because um, the dishwasher's still going, it's pretty late. Um, but the two foil things, they're trapped because that's just carcasses. Um, we got lucky. Uh, one of the boys' uh, job gave him a turkey, and the other boy gave him a ham. So we were able to have turkey and ham. So it's leftovers for days. So that's it. Uh, you didn't miss much per se because all we did, all I did, was cook and um, drive around, and go get the boys because they went to the, their grandparents as well. So that's all I did, and then uh, I cooked. That's one year done that I don't have to cook anymore. <laughs> I'm not a big cook. And uh, actually my son, my younger son, Amos, he's the one that pretty much put together the turkey because I'm not a big fan of um, touching the turkey. I'm not a meat eater. I had this, which is kind of scary because it looks like meat, but it's not. It's a like a mushroom base something. So it looks like meat though. It's pretty scary. I was kind of turned off by it because I was like, Ugh, I'm not gonna, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna finally uh, decompress. Uh, most of the house is back to normal, and um, I'm gonna get to go to my friends tomorrow up in Bellingham, Annette. So I'm sure I'll bring you along, and uh, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye. friends it's like November 30th or something 
yeah, I think it's not going to be. I'm getting ready. It's actually a few minutes after one. I'm going to go take my son to work. Yeah, I slept in. I stay up really late sometimes and then I sleep in, but usually it's because I'm editing or just finally ve vegging out or whatever. In the mornings, though, just want to say, I always feel like I thinned out. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm wearing leggings. It's the only thing that's comfortable in the winter. But anyway, I was like looking at myself because I always feel thinner in the morning. You know? And then that's what I think about during the day. And that's how I look during the day, even though I've probably eaten so much. And it's probably really cold out there too. So I'm just going to wear this huge sweatshirt. Hang on. glasses on because so I finally took my contacts out after like over a week I'm not gonna do anything oh you probably can't see me it's pretty dark anyway took my glasses or I took my contacts out after having them in for over a week anyway I'm gonna go take him to work then I'm going to come back. I need to clean the house. I'm not in the mood. But I need to. And uh, welcome. I'm sure there is another video. A couple of videos. A little little pieces here and there of uh, the vlog. But today marks officially Vlogmas. Um, for me. So I can get something up the next day. In fact, um, it's going to have a... A mixture of um, makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, or whatnot, plus vlogs. So it's not going to be everyday vlogs, although I will be vlogging every day. Um, just I probably won't have that much content for vlogs um, to post every day with a vlog. So I'm going to supplement that with other videos, but I wanted to get a video every day. Um, technically, uh, I have a schedule, but. Um, I just don't get the contact content out as much as I'd like um, because certain things are certain schedules and I just haven't been able to do it. So um, this will kind of be like a mock-up of what should be happening every month, but you know, maybe this will be a, a, a way to light a fire under my ass to do it and to continue doing it. But anyway, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm home now. I'm trying to get this pumpkin spice candle burned down. It's taking forever, which is kind of nice in a way because, you know, it's a candle. But I have one more, a smaller one, that um, I'll be burning. But I just wanted to get rid of the big one because it was just, you know, it's hard to, um, it's hard to light when it gets that small so it's just like I just gonna let it burn and then I have this one which is an apple pumpkin that one's nice too so yeah I'm home now so I took uh, my son now I'm going to have a coffee I have cafe Verona in there so I'm gonna have that copy. Plus, I'm going to put some coffee mate in it. I don't usually put, uh, I don't usually put sugar in my coffee because I usually put enough creamery in it, cream stuff in it. So with the pumpkin spice smell, I'll use pumpkin spice. Oh, cream. 
I'm gonna clean this kitchen because it's a freaking mess. Ooh, sorry, but that's it. That's all I'm doing. Clean the kitchen because it's a mess. And uh, actually today is clean house day because I've got a lot of stuff to do this week. I've got a lot of hot mess pieces that I'm doing. They're so fun and exciting, but I need to get them done in a timely manner. Um, because they're for Star Wars, they're Star Wars themed, and I kind of want to have them done and kind of pimp them out before the movie comes out, which I think is on the 18th of December. So I really have to have that stuff out, but I can't have it out unless it's made, so I really need, it's crunch time, so. Um, I can't stay up too late today because, because uh, I do most of my work during nights, like that's when I feel creative um so i can't really do too much but i've got a lot of editing to do so i'm going to do a lot of editing um tonight and then just uh go to sleep in a timely manner because i have to get up at the crack of dawn to take my son to work that's my plan i don't know if it'll work but we'll see what happens got a little bit of a schedule and i started working out and i don't think i'll be able to do it today i don't know we'll see um, I didn't do it during the Thanksgiving weekend just because um, it was kind of tough and I wanted to spend it with the kids. The boys were home, so yeah. But anyway, I will um, see you guys in a little bit after something happens or I end up wanting to talk to myself again. Let's see right here. You may not be able to see me. It'll probably be an awkward angle. Anyway. I'm on my way to go get, take the break off, um, my other son. I just dropped off my younger one at work a few hours ago. Now the other one needs to be picked up. Funny enough, they actually work in the same area. Like, um, one works in one building and the other one works in the building next door to it. So it's like, I'm going back and forth, but it's the same spot which is kind of irritating and now that um it's the winter time my older son he doesn't work as much uh usually spring and summertime even some of the fall time um he works a lot of overtime his eight hour shift usually is a 12 hour shift if not longer during the uh the peak times but anyway um, so now it kind of feels like I get home and start doing whatever I'm doing and then I end up having to go right back. So it's kind of irritating, but whatever. Um, because my younger son is working, um, I don't work. I told you guys I was going to tell you about what happened or what was going on. Um, I think the last one of the last few vlogs that I've had told you that I got a new job. I ended up getting a new job in May. And it was a bit far um, from where I live. It was a good, almost an hour drive to get there. And um, I, at, the, at this time right now, I'm using my um, SUV and it takes a lot of gas. So, and I wasn't getting paid as much as I was at the other casino. So it just didn't feel like I was, it wasn't worth it, the, the pay and then the gas and then the, um, the, uh, you know, just going. And I told you how my day was, it's a 10 hour shift, which was fine with me, but it wasn't a 10 hour shift. It was usually 11 plus shift because, um, It usually what it usually wasn't a 10 hour shift it was usually a 11 plus shift because of um, the way it worked out so with that being said not only did I have this and I explained this before but with that being said then I had to and that wasn't even counting going there and then coming back so I was looking at a 14, almost 15 day, 15 hour day. So yeah, um, I just, 
I, I guess I wasn't really into the whole casino thing. I've been doing it for over 10 years and I kind of burnt out about it. I just didn't want to deal with the people and people as in the guests, the customers. Uh, they are some of the rudest, meanest, self-righteous people. They think as soon as they walk into a casino that we got to bow down to them. It's like any other business, you know, there's certain rules and policies and uh, certain things that the workers have to adhere to and they just think that we're going to comp them at all times and they're pissed off because they're, they're not winning. It's like, well, I didn't put a gun to your head and tell you to come, come in here and spend all your money, you know. It's kind of sad, and I was done, because prior to me working in the casino, I was working at a payday loan place, check cashing place. I was a assistant manager there, and that was bad, too, because then I had to deal with people taking out loans, and they were never getting ahead. So, for the past 20 years or so, I have been doing a lot of um, work that you don't see a really good part of what the human you know population is it's, it's a very shady part you know when anything has to do with money it's kind of scandalous so anyway um i ended up not working there anymore i haven't worked there since well it's december now i haven't worked there since uh october uh mid-october and uh, I, I saw a lot of, I uh, met a lot of people and I'm still friends with them and I'm really glad that I was able to hang out with my friend Joseph because uh, we worked together and there was actually a whole bunch of other people that I used to work with uh, at oh, the one casino and that or at this new one so I did get to see a lot of people and I met a couple new people and the place itself is great it's just that it was a bit stressful and I don't like schedules where Unless it's my own schedule, you know, I don't like schedules where they tell you come in at 8 and then come in at 10 or Tomorrow you can come in at 730. It's just like, you know, how am I supposed to have any kind of life? You know, I know all companies want you want them to be your life basically, but I'm not all about that I work to live. I don't live to work Unless it's my business. So with all that being said we kind of like ran around because my younger son wasn't working and it was just like, we need to get you a job. He's younger. He hasn't had a really good stable job since high school. And it was just time. I really want to go back to school, but I can't because it's a full-time thing for about a year. So the plan was is that my kids are going to uh, work, take care of mom. And then I could focus on my hot mess and maybe go to school. Um, so yeah, well, we got lucky and my younger son and my younger son um, what's going on? my younger son actually got a job good paying job he'll be getting um, you know he's gonna be getting benefits and all that other stuff after his 90 days it's not the best job but when you don't have a passion to go for any job at this point would be good especially if it got benefits and everything else that's included you can't really help it and he says the job is pretty easy so that's not too bad and um, yeah and I could definitely see the confidence in him he's really happy about it he's been doing it for a little over a month or so so he's doing really well and um, yeah so now I need to get these guys to learn how to drive so I'm not going back and forth because then I can go to school. Um, but because they work different shifts, so the younger son works, well, the older son works mornings, like six to four or so. And the young, younger son works swing shift, which is um, one to 10.30, or excuse me, two to 10.30. So, I wouldn't be able to get a job, even if I wanted to, really, because I'm driving everybody right, around. I don't know how long I was talking or whatever. But anyway, I'm having a pop-in for Hot Mess. Um, 
here soon. So everybody, I'll have it set up like a little boutique in my house and people can come in and check it out before Christmas. Um, I'm working on a couple good, good things. My creativity is flowing. I've got tons of ideas and things and supplies that I've been stocking up on. So I'm hoping to get everything, you know, really done. Um, on the days that I have to wake up early, which means there are, um, you know, there's a, uh, like those are early nights for me and I usually uh, do all my creativity during nights um, but uh, Monday nights and Tuesday nights are when I really can't do much so I'm going to set those two days aside for um, editing and doing any kind of internet like work not that I'm not going to be doing any internet work because I'll be doing a lot more internet work well I have been anyway as far as blogging because I really want to do a lot of blogs I just really haven't gotten into it and I do have um, other blog other blogs that I do this won't stay I need to get um, a little holder thing for this but it's not working anyway I do have blogs I have uh, my blog that's my hot mess blog that you know um, I usually just post my videos on it but I would like to start writing as much as I'm not a big fan of writing and stuff like that I, I kind of impress myself because I'm actually good at it which is weird because I never thought of myself as a writer um, I do have um, two other blogs I've got one that talks about all of my little stories that I have um, from the night shift um, that I talk about the people I've ran into the people that I work with and things like that like true stories just little tiny true stories of um, the stuff I've gotten as working in graveyards so that's pretty interesting um, if I get brave enough maybe I'll link it below I also have another blog uh, where I'm writing, um, it's not my memoir, but it'll be on that blog. That's kind of like my outlet. I just write, I'm writing um, on on my um, blog so that way I have some place to put it and people can stumble upon it and watch it or read it, but <clears throat> it's not it's not crazy, uh, you know, edited or anything, so it's not going to be perfect, but I wanted something out there, so then that way I can go ahead and print them out and then make the book out of it, because then I'll just go back and kind of tweak it a little bit, but if people are interested in reading it, and if nobody reads it at all, at least I know it's out there, and that um, it gives me some place to put it. It gives me more motivation. I haven't do, been doing much, that's why I put that time aside so um, I could do those things um, if I got if I'm brave enough while I edit this maybe I'll put the links below for you guys to go check it out I'm not really sure I don't think anybody's following it or even read any of those so um, who knows I don't know I don't know I I've been wanting to do my memoir for a while um, that will come after I'm done with the one that I'm doing now is uh, it's like all of my dating um, ex, you know, what, what would it be? I never know how to explain myself, but it's all of my dating um, and shit. <coughs> it's, it's, how do I say it? It's, it's all of my uh, adventures in dating and or hanging out with guys in my quest to find the one um, and I start right at the beginning of my life and how men have um, either affected me or you know how they came into my life and, you know some of this is very similar to a lot of other gals that are like what the heck what am I doing wrong so it's it's just an outlet for me and not to mention it's kind of nice to remember what happened and to go back and kind of have a feeling for that person that you once used to love or 
be with or whatever. Of course, all names are um, changed for, to protect the innocent, the douchebags, and the gentlemen in my life. So, uh, nobody will ever know unless one of you exes out there are watching this and go read it and think, hey, that sounds like me. Well, that sounds like you. Maybe you shouldn't be such a jackass. Or if you were that gentleman. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't know to reiterate. Yes, I don't work, but I am working. I don't work, but I work. If that makes any sense. Um, my boys have allowed me out of necessity because I've got to be the driver. Uh, uh, I am full time work at home mom, uh, single gal, chic. And, um, yeah. It's, it's good. I don't really have as much time as I thought I would, which is funny because of all the, um, <clears throat> all the time you think, but driving everywhere and trying to pick up everybody, you kind of have to stop. And not to mention, I am the official house cleaner, which I already was anyway, but I kind of feel like since the boys are working and I'm not putting anything in, that it's I gotta make sure the house is clean. Well, I would anyway, but you know what I mean. There's a certain kind of responsibility that you want to. But it sure is nice. I'm a proud mama, definitely. Um, not all my boys are very self-sufficient and good to go so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> all right, I am almost there and I will probably turn you guys back on when I've got something else to tell you. But right now, I'm just going to go pick him up and go back home. Probably figure out something to eat because I haven't eat, eaten yet. And my son will be hungry for dinner. It's probably leftovers from Thanksgiving, really. Well, actually, I ate all of my leftovers. I've been eating pie for days. Hey guys, it is December 1st and it's 11 p.m. What? I didn't vlog anything today. Um, don't worry, you didn't miss much. Uh, I slept, ate, and drove my kids around and then I came home. I'm just finishing up on a, a video right now that is editing. So that's going up tomorrow, which is December 2nd. And I'm thinking maybe I'm going to upload the vlog that I have now and upload that now. Just an FYI, I am going to be vlogging for Vlogmas, but I'm not going to be posting every day my vlogs. I will be posting every day, but not vlogs because I don't do that much for you to be very entertained. Um, not that I'm a monkey or anything, but... Um, you know, people want to see what's going on in my in my life. Unless you want to see me sitting here watching TV or holding laundry, then you're not going to be very excited to watch me. But just so you know, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading every week for the vlogs because that's what I usually try to do, um, or just every few days when I've got something because uh, editing a whole bunch of clips is kind of you know like hard. It, it's not fun but anyway um yeah this week i am just trying to get the house taken care of and i've got a lot of stuff that i want to create and take pictures of and record this week as well um because star wars is coming out soon and the pieces that i'm doing are star wars star wars like like motivated so Right, I will probably show you a little bit more tomorrow, but for right now, I am getting tired, and so I will probably edit one more video so it's scheduled, um, but other than that, I'm, you know, just going to veg out. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.